I find it annoying that many women out there try to claim that they're harassed more than men. Well, the statistics don't back that up. The only area that back up those statistics are when it comes to sexual harassment. Men are taught to be stoic, to not cry, to not feel emotions when they are, they are heavily criticized for things they have no control over, when they are bullied, when they are harassed. Women are taught to be docile, controllable, and they're left with less defenses against bullying. And it seems that many people's answer to women being sexually harassed is that they should grow a thicker skin. Well, some of these same people telling women to grow a thicker skin are also some of the same people who continually argue that gender roles are a natural thing. Well, if you think it's a natural thing, then, then why do you think women should grow a thicker skin then? There's some hypocrisy there. Sometimes some of the answers to that from some people, from a lot of the feminist side, is that men shouldn't put up with that. Men shouldn't just have to take the harassment. That men should complain about this stuff more. Well, that's probably not going to happen because of gender roles. So let me ask, what is wrong with women complaining about when they're harassed online? If your answer is that men get harassed more, then you're telling women to be more like men. And yet, some of these same people don't want women to be more like men. So, you know, make up your mind. Do you think that we should modify gender roles? Or do you think they should be left the same? Do you think we should continue the gender roles that are out there? If you think they should be left the same, then you can't be telling women to be more like men when it comes to the way they handle harassment. I mean, when men are sexually harassed, it's still usually by other men, and it's usually within some sort of a, a threat that someone is going to do something gay to them. How often do men get sexually harassed by women? And what does that mean? Now, I'm talking online. Obviously, there are some direct things that, that some, a woman can do to a man that's sexually harassing and can be sexual assault. You know, there's obviously some things in person that, that women can do. But I'm talking about online. How is anything that a woman could say to a man truly threatening to them in any way when it comes to sexual harassment? I'm going to stalk you and, and watch you when you're jacking off? I mean, what? Men aren't taught to be docile and controllable. Women are. So why get all pissy when women talk about when they're sexually harassed online? Now, I can understand why people get pissy when women state that they're being sexually harassed in person because someone said hello to them. Hi, how are you doing? Like, like that 10 hours uh, walking in New York as a woman. That video, right? Yeah, some of the things that people have... Some of the things that they're considering harassment aren't... It's ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. You know, hi, how are you today? You know, oh, that's harassment. Well, you know, after you receive it for so long, it, it all seems like harassment at that point, and it just gets old. Well... You know, and don't get me wrong, in that video that I'm referring to, there are a number of things that someone could consider sexual harassment, and very creepy, if nothing else, like the guy who follows her for several blocks. Yeah, that's, that's kind of creepy. You know, if someone was doing that to me, I would be kind of creeped out. Now, I might be someone who would turn around and say, why are you following me? Women unless they were taught to be more like men, aren't likely going to do that. So to the women out there, and to the feminists out there, who are trying to make false claims that women are harassed more online, yeah, the statistics don't back you up. But the way that women feel when they're harassed online is a lot more detrimental than when guys are harassed online. Let's not mince statistics. Let's look at this realistically. Now, if you're saying, oh, men should feel this uh, more than they do, men should feel this as much as women do, well, then aren't you essentially telling men they should be more like women? 
Should women be more like men and men be more like women? Is that a realistic goal? Should we try to make the sexes more homogenous? I don't know the answer to that. What do you think? Ooh.